been getting a bit annoyed lately because I've been reading, I don't normally read much, I read a lot when I'm in a wheelchair, but I don't have time reading now. I read some fashion magazine, I don't know why I read it, it must have been on a train or something. And there was an article about waistcoats, well I make waistcoats. And there was five or six pictures of waistcoats from different manufacturers, it was actually all made in India or China. And there's comments about each one. And the comments were, oh, uh, this is a certain look, and uh, like the buttons on that, and this is a certain look, and you compare this with some jeans or a pair of dress trousers. God knows what they mean by that. Not a single word about craftsmanship or quality. Not a word about the quality of the fabric used. Not a word about whether there was still a neckband on the waistcoat or whether the buttonholes were any good at all. It really annoys me when people have completely stopped talking about quality. Now, good time to talk about quality because very, very sadly, this morning, all over Facebook, the death, the passing away of a legend. I was fortunate enough to meet this chap uh, now and again, a chap called Edward Sexton, very much associated with uh, Tommy Nutter, another great hero of Savile Row. I won't go into a great deal about what they did. You can look them up. They're really worth looking up. Edward Sexton and Tommy Nutter. When Tommy Nutter passed away, he was sadly missed. Very respectable conservative tailors uh, said, yeah, he's, he, he brought life back into uh, Savile Row. But now, the thing about Edward Sexton, I think he was the last tailor really on Savile Row. A lot of people masquerading as tailors. A lot of people advertising bespoke, and the legal definition of bespoke has now changed. It can mean absolutely anything you want it to mean. Basically, just made to measure. Now, a lot of people might give the impression that they're working in the back rooms in Savile Row or something, like that, but it's, it's all made in India and they'll, they'll measure you up there maybe but it's all made abroad, it's made all offshore. Now, in the glory days, people used to work in the back rooms of Savile Row, and not just in Savile Row, in Soho and in the city, you had fantastic tailors. One fantastic tailor was this guy. They made suits and they were also shirt makers. They was Watson and they were in the uh, Royal Exchange, I think it's called. This suit, it's mohair, it's stylish, uh, it's made for a chap who's slightly portly, size, size 40 and slightly short, but this is just super tailoring and I love, now this is a button that's quite often used in Savile Row, it's just a plain plastic button with quite narrow lip on it, you see it a lot on, it's favoured by a lot of Savile Row tailors, and somehow this guy's gone to the trouble of getting these smoke blue grey buttons sort of Morris Minor colour and the quality of this suit there's a lot of hand finishing on there it's hand canvassed on the inside it's absolutely super mohair it's going to be really super cool we're never ever going to see suits like this made again now it is possible uh, to make a factory produced suit and uh, it is possible to buy good mohair but there seems to be no willingness to do it Everything is made to the lowest common denominator, use the cheapest materials. And it, it's sad that reading today about Edward Sexton, we, we're never going to see that kind of quality, those kind of guys ever again. <laughs>